The White House National Press Secretary, Corinne Jean-Pierre. She's joining us to discuss President Biden's priorities and challenges in the year ahead. Happy New Year. Thank you for joining us this morning, uh, Corrine. Let's begin as President Biden heads into his fourth year in office facing re-election this year. A possible rematch with Donald Trump. A lot of the polls show him, especially in the battleground states, trailing or tied with Donald Trump. What does the White House think about that? How can you turn it around? Hi, George. Happy New Year. Thank you so much for having me. I'm going to be really mindful here. As you know, George, the Hatch Act can't really talk about an upcoming election. But here's what I will say. Uh, and just taking a, a, a really baby step <laughs> step back here for a second. Last year, if you think about the last three years, this president has accomplished more in three years than any other president has been able to do in two terms. And so we saw the data coming out of uh, last year on the economy and Bidenomics and how it's working. If you think about 14 million jobs created, we see unemployment at four, under 4 percent in 22 months. You see gas prices going down. It's under three bucks in 28 states. Those things matter, and that's incredibly important. And so we're hoping what we want to do is continue to focus on binomics and continue on lowering up costs and prices for the American people. Look, the president, after coming out of the State of the Union, he talked about uh, he talked about finishing up the job, right? And when he, what he meant by that is uh, continuing to work for veterans, right? And making sure we do the work that we need to do there. Working on uh, 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 public health issues like like cancer and other important critical key things that American people care about, whether it's Roe, making Roe the law of the land and continuing to work on gun violence. Our young people, kids are the, uh, when it comes to gun violence, guns are the, 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 the leading killer of our kids. So we're going to continue to do that work and that's going to be our focus in the upcoming year, George. Right, of course, also facing national security challenges, including the war yeah. in the Middle East and the potential now of a wider war with Iran now that they've sent a warship into the Red Sea. We've seen these battles with the Houthi rebels over the last several days. Yeah. Are you concerned about a wider war? So here's what we are, I'll say to that. Look, the Houthis, as you know, George, is a rebel organization. Uh, obviously, we take all of this very seriously. And the, pres and the president has said, we are, we are ready to act in self-defense if needed. I'm certainly not going to get into specifics of our uh, military operations, but the pre president is always and has always been committed uh, to our service member and protecting the, our service member uh, abroad. And that's what the president's going to be committed to. The war in Ukraine is grinding on. It seemed to escalate over the last several days, but this aid package is still stalled in, conf in Congress. Are you confident it can get done early this year? So look, we have to be confident that it gets done. Let's not forget what's going on here. You're talking about the supplemental where there's been negotiations happening uh, on the Hill, even through uh, through the holidays, which we appreciate. But look, you know, last week the president put out a statement on what you just stated about what we've seen, the continued aggression in Ukraine, some something that we haven't seen since the beginning of the war. We got to remember what Ukraine is fighting for. They're fighting for their freedom. They're fighting uh, for democracy. This is against President Putin, who is doing this aggression. And it's not just Ukraine that we have to worry about here, George, as you know. We're talking about our NATO alliance, right? He's not going to stop. President Putin is not going to stop uh, at, U at Ukraine. We have to think about, and the president understands this, when we talk about our national security, it's not just abroad, but it's here at home. So we're going to do everything that we can, that the brave people of, of Ukraine have what it needs to continue to fight for their democracy. Also tied up in those negotiations, border security. Many American cities now overwhelmed with this immigration crisis. Look, George, you know, it is it really it is really when we think about the busing and the flights that we're seeing from this one governor uh, currently right now, uh, Governor Abbott, that is doing this, that's using migrants as a political stunt. It's not protecting our communities across the country. It's not making uh, Texas any safer. And it's shameful. And we need to call that out. Look, we've been in touch with mayors and governors in the northern part of this of the country to talk to, to give them and provide resources uh, that they may need to deal with the influx. But the president on day one of his administration put forward an immigration legislation, a comprehensive immigration legislation, because he understood how important it was to deal with border security, an immigration system that's been broken for decades. And so now you see, you see uh, conversations happening in a bipartisan way in the Senate. We really appreciate that. We believe it's headed in the right direction. And we hope that con when Congress gets back, that we can be able to move forward uh, on those conversations and get things done to get, make sure that the, our border is secure. Karine Jean-Pierre. Thanks very much. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.